the dialogue is the utmost uh, importance of the CMC forum in particular because it allows to discuss with people that are not necessarily in the working parties that uh, we have been dealing with. It's a possibility of having a, a discussion with other regulators on subjects that are concerned at the national level because, uh, because of the clinical trial assessment. Although I only come to the U.S. meeting, it's always international. And uh, it's really interesting even to see the regulators from both geographical areas challenging themselves about some requirements that may not be harmonized and getting things in motion towards that harmonization that everyone is craving for. I think from a policy perspective, you know, you will find that regulators have different opinions, um, right? And there is divergence in, in certain areas. So when that comes up, you know, whether it's in panel discussions or in presentations, Oftentimes in the Q&A, you know, audience members will drill down on that. And from a policy perspective, you know, your ears kind of perk up like this is an area for potential harmonization. You know, you hear right from the horse's mouth uh, what the opinions are and, and also the reasoning, right? You know, the, the rationale as to why there may be differences. So, so all of that is really valuable when we're crafting our own policy positions um, and our own approach to advocacy. Being able to stimulate those dialogues and conversations and um, get the regulators cross-talking to each other a little bit more. I think it was responsible for things like mutual recognition occurring, right? Because the, they got to engage with each other, there was a safe forum for, to, for them to do that.